Was this stuff that you sold? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, wow, you've been cleared out. <laughs> <laughs> what, well, you have people come already? Oh, yeah. Nice. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I, that's great. Yeah, I hit another one on the way that I didn't plan on hitting, but that's always the way, right? You go to one, then you hit a bunch. <laughs> oh, yeah, twin as a ton. <laughs> oh, yeah.
those two yard sales, I'm gonna head over to the post office. I sold my first golf club for 60 bucks, yay! And I think I paid two bucks for that at Mustard Seed, our local thrift store. So here is the golf club that I'm taking in. These boxes are fantastic for shipping golf clubs and they're free through the post office. I get mine online. Hi guys, this is Cindy from Krause House Sift and Thrift. Hope you're doing well. I'm having a great day. Um, if you don't know and you're new to my channel, um, I am a reseller on eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace. And my channel is all about reselling and hoping you, hoping to help you as the reseller um, find the right things to sell and at the most profit. That's the goal of my channel, and if I can inspire and entertain you um, as I go along, hey, that's great. That's a bonus. <laughs> anyway, today I went to two local thrift, not thrift, not this time. I went to two local yard sales, and I was looking on Facebook Marketplace. I was actually looking for a garage house to go to that me and my hubby John could go to tomorrow in Twin Falls, which is about 20 miles from us in our small town of Buell. Buell's about 4,500 people. And I came across uh, a yard sale listed in Buell. So my hubby had to work, so I took off. Um, we got a bunch of change from our, you know, our jar and um, then he gave to me and I had a few dollars on me so I didn't have to go to the bank, which is always nice. And as I was driving, uh, I saw another yard sale and that happens a lot i'm sure that's happened to you guys too when you're going yard selling that's one of the perks about yard selling is that you know you could have a plan and as you're driving along you see those yard sale signs hey there 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 turn there turn there i do that with john all the time so a lot of times i have you know i have them written down and mapped out but we ended up we end up detouring and we found a great yard sale and some really nice people a couple weeks ago that way. So it's kind of the thrill of the hunt and thrill of what you're going to find at what sale. It's kind of fun. And there are tons of yard sales now. I'm sure every city and every state there are, or most cities, the bigger ones probably, have a ton. So John and I are going to be hitting a few tomorrow. But I wanted to show you guys what I got at these two sales. And one of the greatest things, or the best things to get a yard sales are free items. So I did get a couple of those, and I wanna show you. First one, John Deere cap. Pretty cool, huh? It's um, It's got the flames. And then it's got like a, maybe you could read what that says. Yeah, a special tag on the back. I thought it was really awesome. I wasn't gonna pick it up originally because it is a little dirty, uh, but you know, caps you could just throw in the, uh, I throw them in the washer and I pull them out. I don't put them in the dryer. And then I have my head, you know, my styrofoam head that I use for taking photos of caps and hats. I put that on there. That was John's idea. I put that on the head to dry and then it keeps the nice, um, you know, molds the hat the way it should be originally. So anyway, when the guy said it was free, I'm like, ah, uh, heck yeah, I get that. So I'll throw this in the washing uh, machine and just dry it, air dry it. The other one I picked up, actually I did pick up two things there that were free. The other one is downstairs. It's a Queen Greatest Hits CD and I happen to like the band Queen and it was free, so I grabbed that. So on to the things that I paid for, but I didn't pay very much. Okay, so I found this Polaroid t-shirt. I'm gonna comp this out, you guys have no idea what it's worth, but it was 25 cents. So for 25 cents, I'll take a gamble. And even if it's worth five bucks, it's still worth it. Um, one step Polaroid, it's just a black back. But you know what? This is a uh, 3XL. So that is awesome because the bigger you buy, the more, the higher you price you could price it at and the quicker it will sell. 
Um, I mean, that's pretty logical, but um, maybe you guys don't know that. So um, I typically don't like to buy smalls or mediums. I go with large, extra large, 2XL, 3XL, 4XL, the bigger the better. And when I'm looking at t-shirts and other clothes, I'd start at the larger sizes first. Because you know, bigger people don't have a large of a choice. Uh, so they are thrilled when they can find things in their size. So that was that. Next thing I found was this really cool t-shirt. I didn't know what it was. And then I looked at the tag and voila, it's Nike. And um, it's XXL. So this was at the same yard sale. Say it. Um, and this not cool. I had never seen that design before. It's just black on the back. But yeah, as you can see, 25 cents again. Amazing. Um, I haven't caught these out, but look at the screen for what I'm hoping to get from them. So anything bathing suits I get now, I have, I've already sold a couple and I've, I've sold a Nautica men's swim trunks for 20 bucks. I sold a women's bikini on Mercari for nine bucks. And I have another uh, men's trunks for listed for like 10 bucks, but it wasn't like a very desirable brand. And then these are just boys. Um, Liquid Wave, I have never heard of that brand. Large 14, boys, kind of cool colors, bright, orange and pink on gray, and this was a dollar. And, you know, I'm not worried about it comping out very high. It's because at these prices, <laughs> I'll get sales and the profit will be big. What, uh, whether it's 10 bucks or 20 or 30 bucks. Okay, so this was cool. Um, I like Christian t-shirts. Uh, my family are Christians, and sometimes I send them to my dad or my mom or my sister or brother-in-law, or I keep them. But, you know, they also are a sell well. So this is Pray, Obey, Love, Repeat. Pretty cool. I thought that was a neat saying. And again, this was a size. 3XL and this one was actually 50 cents. Woo woo! <laughs> Going up in price. Not by much. Alrighty. Um, USA, I believe this is still a uh, 2XL, but this one was. Uh, I think it's 50 cents or 25 cents. Oh, there it is, 25 cents. And it's got these cool shorts, jean shorts. I, they're polo. Um, I haven't sold any of that brand, at least not for a long time. I thought these looked like quality shorts. Somebody spent uh, quite a bit of money on these and um, they're very well made. Excellent condition, like new condition. And so I'm going to comp this at Polo, but I believe this is a high selling brand. So, and it's summer and girls wear shorts. So these are a smaller size. They are a 10, but I grabbed them because of the brand and the condition. Lastly, I have sold Seattle Seahawks stuff before. Caps, t-shirts, scarves. So I knew this was gonna be a great seller. This is Seattle Seahawks, it's 50 cents. And the player is Wilson. And my hubby knew that right away, John. He goes, I bet that's Wilson, isn't that? I'm like, how do you know? three. He knows, guys knows this stuff. At least guys who follow sports know this stuff. I'm kind of ignorant on all that. But, you know, it's got the logo on the sleeves. And um, this was a dollar. And you know what? It's really good quality. It's almost like a jersey more than like a shirt. 
It's got that thick material. This is a youth and it's a large. So, you know, a boy's large. That's okay. Um, I still believe this will sell and pretty quickly. So just want to show you guys what I found this morning. You know, uh, they'll get out there, go to yard sales, go to garage sales, um, see what's out there. You know, you can usually find better deals at those places than you can at thrift stores. I mean, thrift stores are great, but you know, people are wheeling and dealing <laughs> at yard sales and uh, garage sales, and you definitely can bargain with people. And um, you know what, I'm very fair when I go, John and I both are, and we pay people what we think is worth. If the price they put on there we think is fair, we pay it. Um, so I recommend anybody do that. You don't just bargain just to bargain. You know, if you feel it's a fair price, pay it. You know, these people are trying to make some money and get rid of stuff. Um, you know, but if I'm buying a whole bunch of thing, things, I usually ask the person at the yard sale, I'll say, hey, can you give me a deal? And they always do, you know. And, you know, you get a couple bucks off or whatever. Um, yeah. Oh, you guys, I forgot. There was one more thing I got. Let me go get it. The reason why I forgot about it is I've already listed it on eBay. So this is it. It's um, a Micronta range doubler multi-tester, 43 ranges. So, you know, honestly, I don't know what it is. It's some kind of tester. <laughs> um, but, you know, when you see stuff like this, you're like, aha, uh -huh, that's going to sell. Some guy's going to want that. Well, or girl. Um, and so the guy who wanted three bucks for it, I did comp it out very quickly on my phone. The one I saw right away sold for 40. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll take that. But that was brand new. So I've actually had this listed for 25. And there was a few listed, but I still feel like um, this will sell, um, if not quickly, you know, eventually. So I, I'm very happy with that. And then that was it. That's what I want to share with you guys today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And go out there. Go to the yard sales and garage sales and thrift stores. And find those bolos. Find the best deals you can. So you can flip them on those platforms I mentioned. eBay, Macari, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, Etsy. I don't do Etsy because I don't really do handmade stuff. But, you know, oh, there's actually a lot more. There's a lot more popping up. I haven't really, you know, Debop and some others. I haven't really... Um, looked into those that much but I've been doing very well on the platforms I am on I just sold uh, Ben Hogan golf club wedge just put uh, actually there's footage of me sending that to the post office got that for, uh, sold that for 60 bucks on eBay and I paid two bucks so that was an amazing flip and I am starting to look at golf clubs now um, you can ship them in those free boxes from USPS that you can order on their website. And um, super easy. I wrapped it up in like uh, packing papers, which I got at Walmart for four bucks, uh, four fifty, I think. You could get more for like nine, but these are awesome. It's just, you know, the individual packing paper. So if it's something's not breakable, this is what I use and um put that in a box took it to the post office and i'm sure the guys would be very happy you know he's a golfer so that's another thing to look out for are golf clubs so there's so much out there you guys it's a big big world and all these treasures are waiting for you to discover them so go out there and find them and be profitable be profitable you know and have fun while you're doing it so hope i helped you hope i inspired you if you guys like this content please subscribe to my channel and give me a like a thumbs up and you know give shoot me a comment let me know if you like this or or want to want me to shoot some other content for you so anyway have a great day and i will see you next time bye bye <laughs>